Cardiovascular disease has been the number one killer for many years. Um, it's important that if you are going to prevent a heart attack, that we really look in the right places. Uh, what has happened in many of us is we have learned risk factors like smoking uh, and hypertension, high blood pressure, uh, and high cholesterol has been focused on. However, there are many other factors that we should be looking for to truly detect risk. I can tell you that in my practice, if I were just to look at those traditional risk factors, we may miss up to 50% of the people who are at high risk of having a heart attack. So at Reveal Vitality, we have distinct technology that will be able to look at uh, more in-depth uh, risk factors uh, that are associated with heart disease. For example, we have technology that looks at what we call endothelial function or microvascular function or the small vessel function, which can contribute to heart disease. More importantly, it's important to look at the right testing when we're looking at risk factors, uh, including more advanced cholesterol testing, uh, the size of those cholesterol particles, whether there's inflammation in the arteries or not. Um, there's very little evidence that you're gonna have a heart attack if there's no inflammation in the vessels. So I'll ask each of you, have you had the inflammation markers or vascular inflammation markers checked? I would encourage all of you to do so if you're truly going to assess the risk of, of heart disease uh, moving forward. Other things with respect to heart disease, I think it's very important to understand uh, our nervous system because our nervous system has a lot of input on how our heart functions. For example, when we start to think about people with rhythm disturbances, atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, well, a lot of that is driven by stress hormone imbalance, uh, but also driven by autonomic nervous system, sympathetic tone being very high. What is sympathetic tone? That's adrenaline. That's how our, that's what drives a lot of these arrhythmia issues. And in today's society, Society, where everybody is quote unquote stressed out. We're all dealing with a lot of sympathetic, high sympathetic tone. So understanding how we can deal with some of the, the underlying root causes of what's driving heart disease, or what's driving these rhythm problems or palpitations, or heart skipping and palpitating. These are things that we need to look for as far as addressing the root cause and not just putting you on a medication because you're having these palpitations. From a cardiovascular standpoint, also it's very important to understand uh, risk factors like clotting abnormalities, blood clots. I mean, today again, we hear a lot about blood clots with respect to uh, COVID-19. Those same risk factors that cause increased blood clotting, i.e. factors like homocysteine, elevated lipoprotein A levels, these are some of the same factors that are associated with the risk of doing more poorly with COVID-19. So as far as understanding your risk for heart disease uh, and clots forming which cause heart attacks, understanding these markers would be important as well. In conclusion, heart disease is much more than just how high your cholesterol is. I would encourage you guys to understand how toxins affect your body, how what you're eating affects your body, how much sleep you're getting affects your body whether your hormones are balanced or not, how that affects the, the risk of heart disease. All of these things are important in, in assessing your risk of developing underlying heart disease. And I would encourage you, if you're interested in learning more about truly knowing your risk of heart disease, to contact us here at Reveal Vitality.